Hey guys, so today I am having my day off. Usually I have to work on Sundays, but I'm stoked that I get to come to the beach instead. So, all right. I have some shopping finds to share with you, all natural products. I have like a few skincare items, some hair care stuff, and some sun care items. Let me go ahead and start with skincare stuff first. So actually today what I'm wearing is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian, this is the Coconut Dry Oil SPF 15. I'm loving this stuff. Now I'm not going to talk too much about it um, because it's going to be in my sun care video, but I can say that I think this is a really nice product that I've been enjoying. So another product that I have here is the Alba Botanica Hawaiian Aloe Vera SPF 30 Sunblock. I am loving both of those products so far. Um, still testing them out though, of course. One other item that I have for sun care is this Real Aloe Spray. And this is available in a gel form too, but I wanted to try the spray because sometimes spray is just easier to use. You know, it's fast, it's easy, you can just spray it on all over your body. So this is basically what I use for after sun. I also have an Alba Botanica um, Kona Coffee after sun lotion. So I'm testing both of these products out to see what I like better for after sun care. Uh, this I got at Whole Foods, and I think it was around, I don't know, around $6. Um, these I ordered online from Vitacost, which Vitacost is like my new favorite place to order from for like, you know, all my natural sort of products. And I think they do have this as well, but I didn't discover Vitacost until after I already bought that. A couple other skincare products that I have are these Desert Essence Nourishing Body Oils. Um, this one is in Cactus Flower and this one is Desert Lime. I ended up with both of these. I picked these up for around $4 each at my local health food store. And I ended up with both fragrances because my husband couldn't decide which one he liked, and I couldn't decide either, so I asked him, he wasn't sure, so he was just like, get both, because he wanted to use them too. So uh, I just got these not too long ago, um, I've only used them like a couple times so far, so you can see it's like almost full still, so we got to use more of it, test it out in different, um, you know, different aspects, like I wanted to try it on my hair, nails, cuticles, and as sort of like a body, I don't know, moisturizer. So we're testing those out, and... So far, oh, by the way, they smell freaking amazing. Yeah, so I'll just leave it at that. Okay, another product that I have is also by Desert Essence, Desert Essence Organics. This is Tropical Coconut Hand and Body Lotion, and this smells incredible. First of all, I like coconut scents, so if you don't like coconut scents, you might not like it, but oh, it just smells so good. So I have been enjoying that. Um, I'm still kind of testing out, because what I'm doing actually is I'm not like collecting and hoarding, you know, body care products. I'm just like, I'm trying to find the best of the natural world for me. And since I'm just learning about all the natural products, you know, it does take a little bit of time for testing them out and seeing what's working for me, what's not. And basically these items all cost less than what I was purchasing before. Like I was buying all my philosophy lotions and things like that. And uh, those cost like, more than I want to pay these days. I just, I'm kind of like overpaying high prices, you know, when, when I could purchase like things that are all natural for like half the price or less, I'm, I'm preferring to switch to that method. These are two more Alba Botanica products and I was wanting to find, I was wanting to try out one of their like face washes. So I found these two, I bought one and then I went back and bought the other. So. I'll tell you what happened. So this is the Alba Botanica Pineapple Enzyme Facial Cleanser. I got this first and it turns out that it really dried my skin out. So this is a product that, I mean, I have, oh my god, there go, 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 go. I think it likes all the natural smells, all the <laughs> coconut oils. Okay, giant bumblebee thing. I know some people like it and it did get, you know, okay reviews, but it, it just didn't work for me. So I won't be able to repurchase that. In fact, I'm going to be this is going to show up in my spring cleaning video because I want to pass it on to someone else to use it more. Um, and then this one. So that one didn't work for me and so that I was still trying to find maybe a different Alba cleanser. So I tried this Hawaiian Face Wash Deep Cleansing Coconut Milk. And the texture of this is really weird. It's like, uh, it's like, I felt like I was putting conditioner on my face and I just, you know, I used it a few times. It didn't over dry my skin, but I do think that it caused like a few little blackheads, like in an area that I would never ever have them, which is like my jaw, like right here. I like never break out there. So I thought that was really weird. But um, 
aside from that, you know, it could just be because I was switching skincare, trying different things, so it kind of irritated my skin. But I just cannot get over the fact of putting like conditioner, sort of lotiony face wash on me. It just didn't work. So that both of those are no go for me. Okay, so I did find two products from 100% Pure that I really like a lot. Um, I don't want to talk too much about them though because I will have other videos where I'm going more in depth on them. So just to show you what I got, this one was, let's see, this is the 100% Pure Coconut Hydrating Body Wash and it was $12, it's 17 ounces, so I get one more ounce compared to what I was, I was buying my Philosophy Shower Gels, those are, let's see, I don't know, I think they're around $16 for 16 ounces, so yeah, so this still costs less than them and you get one ounce more and it comes in a little pump bottle, so I really like that a lot. Um, and also about 100% here now, I was trying to stick to products in my natural, you know, natural well realm of products. I was trying to like stay with the lower end, but I kept passing by this and I was just like, you know what, I, I got to try it. So this is one of their skincare items I'll talk about in a minute here. But this, it smells amazing. It's like, like this sweet kind of toasted coconut. It just makes your shower just really delicious smelling. So that is a pleasure to use. Now it does have a pump, so it's automatic foaming. Like as soon as you pump it out, it's already foaming in your head, right? Now regarding the foaming, it does kind of fade away faster than say, like my Pablo Botanica Lava Flow Body Wash. Like that stays really foamy and almost gets like even more foamy as you use it. This one, it does fade away, so you do have to use like a few pumps of it, but still, I think it's worth it. And I love that it's all natural and it makes your skin feel really good after the shower. Okay, so this is 100% pure product. This is their brightening scrub and mask. So I think this was around $16, um, $16 or $17 at my health food store. And I, I love this. I don't, I don't really want to say much more about that because I want to go into, I want to say that for a separate uh, skincare update video. But anyways, it, it smells amazing. It has like grapefruit, seed oil, like everything in it, like I said, everything in their products are like top of the line all natural and they have just really good stuff. But I think it's the pink grapefruit in here that just smells like so good, like energizing, invigorating, and I think it really has been um, kind of like brightening my skin and making more of a glow. So I really enjoyed that. Okay, so I do have some hair products to talk to you about. Now I'm saving most of my information for my actual hair update video. Like I wanna show everything that I've been using on my hair and all the natural products that I've switched to in one video. But I will show you, since this is my shopping finds video, um, some of the things that I found not too long ago that I've been testing out. So these are two by Desert Essence. This is the, I don't know, I'm hair on it right now. This is the coconut shampoo and conditioner. These are silicone free, they're sulfate free, they're natural. Well, I don't wanna talk too much about them, but yes, I really like these a lot and they work really well for my hair. I was curious about, you know, like silicones and going silicone free versus continuing to use them. Um, I'm on the fence about it. I haven't made a decision either way. I like to, like when I'm researching something, I don't like to jump in either direction. I like to listen to both sides and then make my own decision and test it out both ways and see what works best for me. You know, while I am showing you all these natural products, there is a lot of hype about, uh, you know, certain ingredients are overhyped, I should say, and kind of like, you know, there's like scaremongering, like, oh, don't ever use silicones because, you know, they damage your hair, they dry it out. Well, uh, you know, I'm still on the fence about it. I haven't, I don't like feel that way. So, but I'm just interested in trying, seeing how my hair reacts to you no know, silicones versus having used them for so many years. So I know that they do cause buildup, but I think anything, overuse of anything causes buildup, right? So that's just my opinion. So anyways, um, yeah, I'm just strictly testing no silicone products just to see how my hair reacts and see if it's any better. Uh, this is another silicone free product. This is a coconut hair diffuser and heat protector from Desert Essence. I was really excited to find this because I wasn't sure if I was going to be able to find a heat protector that didn't contain the silicone. And since I wanted to test out, you know, I wanted to only use products for a certain amount of time on my hair that contained no silicone to see how it would react to that. So I was excited to find this and I'm currently testing it out. I've been using it every night um, before I blow dry and flat iron and, you know, whatever. And so far, it's it's been good. So, but I'm not going to say any more any more on it until I actually do my hair update video. 
Okay, I just realized that I forgot to mention a product. So this is a very popular hair product on YouTube. that I've seen very good reviews about it. So I saw it in my health food store and I was like, oh my God, I have to pick it up because I didn't want to order it online. I'd looked online before in the past and I just didn't feel like you know paying for the shipping and whatnot. So when I saw it, I had to get it. This is the Win Cleansing Conditioner and I got the pomegranate one. Um, now, the thing with this is you get it cost me $30 and this is a 16 ounce. Um, that is kind of a lot to me, uh, although you do have, you know, this is the cleansing conditioner so it's like you don't have to use a shampoo with it, you know, it's like all in one kind of deal. Um, the problem is, is that you have to use so much of it and seriously, when I looked at the back of this and I was reading the, you know, the first night I was going to use it, I was reading the directions and I was like, uh, this must be a typo because it says Rinse hair thoroughly, then apply 16 to 30 pumps and rub together. I was like, 16 to 30? I, I, what? And then I read further and it said, or 30 to 40 pumps for longer, thicker hair. I have long, uh, thick hair. 30 to 40 pumps, I was like, what the heck? They, that must be a typo. It must be like three to four pumps, you know? No, no, they're serious. Uh, and I just, I cannot imagine, I used this and I used, I don't know, probably about 10 pumps um, did my hair and I just, 16 to 30 or 30 to 40 pumps, that's like crazy, are you kidding? So anyways, that is kind of like weird to me. I mean, if you use the amount they suggested, you would like go through this so fast. I use this for a week and I'm like down to here already, I don't know if you can see that. So. Mm, yeah, this would last me, what, like three weeks? Uh, that just doesn't work for me. Um, now, okay, do I think the product's good? Yes, I think the product's good. Um, does it contain silicone? Yes, it contains silicone. Uh, lots of silicone products work well on my hair. My hair is porous. If you have porous hair, you may find silicone helps smooth the cuticle and helps smooth your hair overall. Um, so the problem is that there are other products out there, like the ones that I was using just previously to picking this up, which was my Alba Coconut Shampoo and Conditioner. Those, they do contain silicone and they contain natural oils and such, just as this does. Um, but they cost like a fraction of the price. So yeah, there's, you know, as I do agree that this is a good product, however, I think that you have to use too much of it to get it to work. and compared to other products that are similar ingredients that work just as well and I get the exact same results with. So would I repurchase? No, I wouldn't repurchase. Do I think it's good? Yeah, I think it's good, but I think there's other stuff out there that's just as good for less. So anyways, uh, I think that's all for my video. I think that's everything and now I'm off to continue. I'm also shooting at the same time a day in the life video, so I'm like, I'm trying to catch up on my videos for you guys. So thank you so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!